Facebook's marketplace is the same name as its first iteration. So what's changed? Well, what's changed now is that most of Facebook's users are on mobile phones. The past iteration of Marketplace just worked on desktop computers. And so Facebook is thinking now that a lot of these transactions are happening, you know, people are on their cell phones. Craigslist doesn't even really have a mobile app that they make. This is really an opportunity for them. And from what I understand, uh, this marketplace, a new iteration of marketplace, has been in testing for more than a year. So what do we know about it already? What do investors know, for instance, about it so far? So Facebook has been testing the marketplace features within their Facebook groups. And what Facebook has found is that about 450 million people use marketplace features each month within groups to buy and sell stuff. Now, the actual transactions don't happen on Facebook. This is more of a Craigslist thing where people say, oh, you know, I'm selling this or that, and, and they coordinate either through a messaging app or through email what they want to pay, how they want to exchange. Does it make money then for Facebook? No, absolutely not. But, but it might actually help people get more familiar with transacting on Facebook, which could help Facebook uh, solve its problem of when people go to Facebook, it's the place to hang out with friends. They catch up with their loved ones. They figure out what's going on in the world. They don't really go there to shop. So if people sort of associate this marketplace mentality with being on Facebook, that could open up e-commerce opportunity for Facebook in the future. Right, it sounds like it's pretty critical to uh, Facebook's effort to crack e-commerce. Having said all that, is this something people in Silicon Valley are excited about? Is this generating any kind of buzz? Well, we saw some uh, hit to eBay's shares today, so that maybe some people, at least uh, investors, are a little concerned about what this could do to other players. Um, in Silicon Valley, I mean, Facebook has never really quite cracked the code in e-commerce. They've tried a few things a few times. Um, their buy button, for example, they've had uh, the gifts you can give people on their birthdays, all sorts of things, including the prior marketplace feature, which got shut down. So I personally, I'm you know eager to see how this works. I'm not sure that it will change things on Facebook, but maybe, maybe if they've already seen the behavior, this is their way to capitalize on it.